Hi there! Maybe you are new to Shopify or in general selling personalizable products. Then I want to show to you in this video how to create your first personalizable products where your customers can also do some kind of personalization by entering text. So the first thing we have to do is we have to create the product. So let's say you have not yet created any product into your Shopify store. So what you're going to do is you will open up your Shopify admin panel. So now we are here on the Shopify dashboard. We can now go on the left side to products. We can go now in the upper right corner and click the button at product. And now we can get started. First of all, you have to enter unique title, for example, in my case, I will just call it personalizable bracelet. Right. Now we can enter here a description or we can just get a text generated by the Shopify AI functionality. So for example, I will just copy the title here. I will go back to the opportunity here, personalizable bracelet with engraving, for example, I can click generate. So now my product description is getting generated. You should be always sure that it will be correct and all the necessary informations regarding size, material will be also mentioned in the description. That's very important for your customers. So now we go here, we can click, let me make myself a little bit smaller so that you can better see the screen. So let us now click here on media, upload new. So I have already one picture of my bracelet. This is just a sample. For you always imagine that you will upload multiple images. It's not enough just to show the front side of the bracelet. You also should show the back side, the chain, everything so that your potential customer can have a good feeling and an idea of what kind of quality is behind that product. So now we can go further. We can set a price. For example, in my case, let's say the price is $39.99. We had have a compare at price before it was $59.99. That's always interesting for potential customers. If they can see, they can save something, they are more willing to buy it. So, right. Let us now go further. We can also enter here the cost per item. That's important if we later want to, to calculate our profit margin. So let's say if I purchase this bracelet in the wholesale, it will be maybe, let's say 14.99. So that's later a good information, a KPI which I can use for my internal cal profit calculations, right? I can also have different kind of categories, can also directly add here some text for the collections, but in my case, I don't have any of them. <clears throat> I can now move on what kind of quantity I have. So here I want to track the quantity so that I have an inventory tracking. So it's always important also to track the quantity. So you can see here, this is my business location. This is just a sample. I have 100 of these bracelets in stock. I can decide if I want to continue selling when it's out of stock or not. In my case, if I'm not sure if I can get new bracelets, then I will just say, okay, once my stock is over, I don't want to sell further. And it's also important to enter here the weight. So for example, if you have some weight-based um, shipping calculation, let's say someone is ordering 10 pieces, then the weight is more and also the price for the shipping will be more. So you have to enter here the correct um, weight also. So let's say in my case, it's 500 grams. <clears throat> we can move on further. Here we can also decide to have different kind of variants. For example, let's say I have also materials like gold, silver, bronze, I can also add it here as a variant, but in my case, it's just in gold available. So I will just keep it like it is. I will not do anything here. I'll also have opportunity to also edit some search engine listing settings. So this is the meta description. It's also important if your page is indexed into the Google so that it will also show the right description. So in my case, I'm now ready to publish it. So it should be also live on all of these channels. So let us first of all, save it. 
now product is getting generated and we can also see it's already on my sales channel online on my in my online store <clears throat> so now let's take a look at it so now we can see it here on my storefront the personalizable bracelet we can see description price product picture everything like we set it up correctly but now one very important thing is missing so now my end customer should also be able to enter his or her text so what we now have to do is we have to add a text field and also if we have any kind of character limitation, so maybe not more than 10 characters because maybe the space will be not sufficient, we can do that right now. So what we're now going to do is we go back to our Shopify admin dashboard, we go to apps, we go to apps, text box by Textify, we will open it up, so I will do so. Now the app dashboard will open up and now it's very, very easy. We can click the button create field. So just a small explanation in our use case, a simple text box will be absolutely sufficient. But if you have more advanced products, you can also easily use the product options we offer. So our text box app comes all in once. So this is the tool you need to do some kind of personalization. You can use it it will be completely sufficient. So what we're now going to do is click the button simple text box. I will enter in my case now the unique field name. Let's say text field for personalization. So now we can decide should it be a multi-line or single line. In my case single line because we just have one line of text. It should not be resizable. I will write also the heading, please enter the enter your names. For example, if I want to require that the end customer will enter some names, for example, Peter and Anna as a placeholder. This is here. Let's also see how many characters there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, let's say we will say not more than 15 characters will fit. So we can also scroll a little bit down. We can say now here, we just want to have 15 characters. I will enter it here. We can also see this is zero from 15. What else we need? We just want to have um, text entered. There should be no numbers added. I don't want to show it here. So that's why I want to have this limitation inside. I can also make now a little bit of styling here. Let's say we want to have a little bit rounded corner so that it will look a little bit more smooth. We want to have different kind of label color because my brand in the future should get a light blue color. Let us check if this would be great. Yeah, that's a good color. We can now also do the border color. Border color could be also in blue color. And also if someone is entering text, it could be also in blue. But the placeholder, I think it's great like it is. So now we can come to the targeting. We can whether show it for all products, this products, this variance or this collections. In my case, it's absolutely fine if we'll just show it for the personalizable bracelet. I will go to choose products. I will now search for my product. In this case, it's the personalizable bracelet. It's already showing up here. I can click add. I can click save. Now my field is getting generated. I can also find it here, text field for personalization. I can go back to my product page. I can refresh it. And what we now can see here, our text box is showing accordingly. We can also say, for example, we want to show it in full width. So let us also do this small adjustment that it will match a little bit better. I will go to full. I will click save again. Now save message is coming. I can refresh it again. Yeah, full width is it's pretty good. So that's how it can look like. And now if someone starts entering that text, you can also see that this is the maximum kind of characters. So in this case, let's say Anna and Peter. So still some characters are left. And now this information will be attached to your order. So that's really easy for you to fulfill it. So that's how easy it is to create a personalizable product. I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that video.